Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Jen and I am tackling our homeschool classroom today. It is a disaster because we haven't used it the last month or so and it has become a catch-all for things to throw up here when we have birthday parties and stuff or people coming over and it was already kind of messy to begin with just from being that towards the end of our school year. We do homeschool year round but we take our biggest break in the summer because it just makes sense up in western Washington weather wise to do that. So we are on our longest break but I tutor high school students in math and I have one who is going to be coming through the summer starting in two days and I have to get this ready because I also tutor from this room and it is not workable right now as I'm about to show you but on this channel I love to give you all um, just motivation to let you know that you are not alone in this crazy imperfect mom life that we have here nobody's perfect and I am definitely not by any means even close to that but that doesn't mean we can't all try our best to better ourselves every single day and that's kind of my goal and what I hope that you take from all of my videos so without further ado let's show you this room and I'm just going to get started play some music and hopefully motivate you to get something done that you need to do as well all right I will do a full tour of this um once we're done and I've also done like a more detailed tour that I'll link that you can watch but <laughs> this is the state of our classroom right now. I did not touch anything before coming in here and the girls love playing in here. So all of the arts and crafts stuff that you see, that's all kind of them playing. This stack of stuff is again, just stuff thrown up here because we didn't have a place to put it. Um, there's some drawers missing in my teacher toolbox back there that I need to find and put back in. Um, I need to take down the human body science wall. We're kind of also going to be prepping this classroom today for the next school year to start. So I need to take all the old stuff down and do that. Um, we still have May up on the calendar because we didn't use this room in all of June. And this is all of the new stuff. Mostly, most of this right here is new stuff on the desk for the next school year. So I need to get that in place random boxes and the bookshelf is the only thing that's kind of stayed relatively tidy but I've realized that we haven't touched a lot of this so I'm actually going to be decluttering a lot of it because we're having a garage sale fundraiser for the girls competition dance season soon so I'm going to do that and then if we come over here carefully so I don't trip to the back behind the teacher desk again more craft stuff my old planner Lots of garbage and recycling that needs to be taken out. And over here in the doorway that I was kind of standing in originally, there's just um, more random stuff on the floor. So this is our starting point and we are going to get going now. They were in high school when they met And things got kinda awkward With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool But it was obvious like ooh They would be together One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper Started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche like Ooh Baby, I only want you It's true And then he said I wrote you a love song I tried to make it beautiful 
It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moonlight As they kept on dancing Song, and they sing it kind of beautiful Calling each other sweetheart I promise nobody can get in their way Or steal the show oh, They're in love now And I wanted you to know It's 1 a.m. and I ain't tired I can stand right here and talk all night if you want no place to be, no one's waiting for me I won't lie, I'm into you Got like a million ideas what we could do Cause I'm not gonna let you slip away I won't waste this There's something about the way you Fix your eyes on me I can't help myself fall in love I go crazy uh, uh, uh. What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? Turn up the pace I don't care about what we do If I get to be with you But what you wanna do now Wants to be afraid of When we're young, stupid, and in love and then I forgot to show you in the closet initially um, This is kind of what it's looking like now It honestly isn't that bad Because the only thing that the girls touch in here Is this art cart And so that's like the stuff on the ground there Is from that um, everything else has actually stayed pretty organized. If you want to see details of what is all in here, then um, I will link that video like I mentioned with more detailed kind of drawer by drawer what I put in here. So you can go watch that if you'd like to. But we are just going to tidy this up at least. And if we see anything out of place, we're going to correct that. It's so tiny and crowded in this closet that I can't really get a good camera angle <laughs> to clean all of this up so we are going to do some youtube magic here and okay now i'm going to work on our current cart this is um basically all of the current work or things that we're going to be using in the current school year and obviously a lot of this stuff is from this past school year so i'm going to kind of filter out what we don't need and fill in all of the new stuff that we do need so that it's ready to go all right, it is now 11 o'clock at night. We took a break, went to a birthday party, um, came back, changed back into my <laughs> cleaning clothes, and I'm gonna keep tackling this. All right, so here's what I have. Just a couple things on the desk that I'm not really sure where it's gonna go. This bag is full of like birthday cards and stuff that I'm gonna go through. Like I need to go through this bag still, but I kind of was stuffing stuff in here that I need to go through. This pile right here is all um, old stuff that's already done. So I just need to put that in the office um, closet. And then this is actually a coloring book bin, which used to be full. So I have it sitting out here because I suspect that all the coloring books are somewhere else. <laughs> and so I need to find them and put them in there. That's garbage bag. We have some drawing books back there. Um, and this is the current cart. So this is what I left off on before we had to leave. And that's what I'm gonna tackle next. Um, the closet's already done, and then I also need to take our science wall down, like I had mentioned before. And I was gonna take some, I was gonna take this artwork down to make room for this, the next year's artwork, but I think I'm just gonna wait until they actually do more artwork and then switch it out. That way it doesn't look super plain. Over here are the progress charts for their school, their individual progress charts. We kind of like didn't fully finish them, but it actually, was really good to keep them on track so I'm gonna make new ones for their new curriculum and print those there and then I do need to re-up their homeschool store prizes over here um, they can exchange tickets for prizes and they earn tickets different ways so I need to fill that up with other stuff 
um, which is not happening tonight, obviously, because I have to get it, but that is something that needs done. And then these are all of our crayons, which are color organized. Um, but I think I'm going to use this, if we come over here, this little caddy to put like a couple boxes of crayons and new markers and stuff like that to have in here. So they have like new fresh stuff that they can bring downstairs easily. Um, so I don't have all that stuff yet, but I think that that's what I'm going to use this for. And I think that's it. So let's just get started. When you talk, listen close. There's just something about your voice. I think that every word you say to me is like poetry. I just want you for my own. It's really easy to tell that you're the best girl I've ever known. I'm not going to waste this. Ah, ah. What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? When you give me that smile, I think my heart's turned up the pace. I don't care about what we do if I get to be with you. What you wanna do now? What's to be afraid of when we're young, stupid, and in love? All right, here's the current cart. Got science on the bottom because the binders don't fit upright. Um, basically, the second shelf are notebooks, re uh, different books that we're gonna use, reference books, and like the skinnier workbooks, like logic workbooks, and then curriculum up here on the top shelf. And I am actually starting to get a headache, so I'm gonna listen to my body, go to bed, and work on this some more tomorrow hopefully finish it we'll see depends on um how i'm feeling because the girls go back to dance tomorrow so good night for now see you in just a minute all right day two here we go i've been dreaming so much lately about your face when you're smiling it's the only thing that saves me mm -mm. Hey, I don't know if I told you That I think you're beautiful And how oh, I can't wait to hold you Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down And I don't know what I would do without you Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down doing all that I'm gonna do in this video I didn't get to everything I wanted to 
but I got to definitely the majority of it and I can finish the rest this weekend because it's just kind of smaller stuff. So I'm going to walk you through and do a quick tour. Like I said, there's a more detailed tour that I've already filmed that will be linked here, but just to kind of start you off. So this is the door into the hallway and I just have some posters up, which I've left up because um, River is upcoming and Quinn is actually about to be doing more grammar work this next year. So I actually, I'm gonna leave that up. Um, I never mentioned this red thing right here and that's actually a pull cord for a backdrop. Um, I will show you. So I can just roll it down like this and I can film videos in front of it, which is nice. So that's what that is. Pull it back up here. Um, and then I just put this weight and red thing over here out of the way so that's what that is um we have our homeschool store which i showed before they can earn tickets and that's one thing i didn't do obviously i wasn't going to go get the stuff for that in one day but um that's going to be on my to-do list down here we have our mini fridge where we can keep like applesauce pouches juice boxes um fruits and veggies to snack on and then this box here is scrap paper and paper plates they can do craft stuff with and then over here is our library book bin once I get like into the school year I'll get library books that go along with the units we're doing and those all go in there anything homeschool related goes in here and the rest goes out either in their room or the hallway and then these are their stickers so they get stickers for completing things and then these are their little dot stickers for their progress charts. We have some sketch pads here. And then these Bailey is making little gifts for her friends. And so she's working on those and have those in here. So that's there. And then we have the longer uh, construction paper for art projects. And I showed you the crayon wall already. And some multiplication chart. And then we have, I love this, got it from the Dollar Tree. Don't decide you can't until, before you discover that you can. I love that very motivational we have our little flag here for pledge of allegiance the best printer in the world if you're looking for a printer get this one a hundred percent there's different models but like get an epson eco tank this is how much ink we have left and i have printed hundreds of copies full color all of it from this printer and it's just awesome and it's super easy to refill um we have the smaller construction paper here the little tools we use, the glow, broken crayons, abacus, all of that. And we're gonna turn, we keep the broken crayons so we can turn them into, like we can melt them and turn them into little like heart crayons for Valentine's and stuff. We have this other sign I got from Hobby Lobby. And then here is where I write down what family subjects we're doing each day so they can know like, oh, it's Monday we're doing science or whatever we're doing that day. And then I tidied up this, which I'm super thrilled about this. It feels like purposeful now, which is really, really nice. These first like three cubbies here are basically my books, um, things that the kids aren't really gonna read or uh, things I use to kind of like stay motiv motivated in my business and stuff like that. And then over here are some read alouds. We have the Harry Potter, Potter books and the Chronicles of Narnia ones and then some chapter books here we've actually read a couple of those and then more chapter books here which are a mixture of read alouds and Bailey's assigned readers and then we have a few more down here also in this cube are units um, that we are not going to use until River is a little older he'll use that teacher child to read in 100 lessons book when he's ready for that and then we probably won't do the science unit again until he's old enough to understand it because we've done that twice now so that's what's in there um this cubby we have our teaching time clock which quinn's actually using right now and then these are more of my reference books and i just got two more of these big fat notebooks which i love these things so much they're more like middle school and high school geared but i tutor middle and high school so i actually use that and I need to get the updated um, fourth grade one for Bailey so I need to get that but this is all human body stuff on this half and this half is like geology rocks and minerals things like that 
And then these are the other science things. So I have, this is actually a physics book and workbook that's for me because I love to learn and physics is something I never like took. And so I have that for me to eventually like I don't know, whenever I have time, work through this and teach myself. And then we have, um, like, more of chemistry kind of stuff here, and then nature stuff here. Going down on this cube, we have geography and social studies and history are in these two cubbies, things we use for that. And over here, these are all workbooks basically that the kids can grab and use whenever they want. So they can pull out these workbooks. They love to play school. So I like to keep these accessible. I don't assign these or anything like that. And they really only do these when they want to when they're playing school basically. But that's where they can grab from if they want to do that. And then the bottom row over here we have language and our um, curriculum that we're going to be using like over the next couple years. We're going to use um, history quest uh, middle times again next year and then second third and fourth grade art dvds for when we're done with the other ones and then this cubby is all like readers and kind of like basically language arts type stuff if that makes sense like uh spelling and short vowel game um sentence flip chart that helps with different parts of speech and then this is kind of more of that there's just more learning tools with spelling and reading and all of that fun stuff. And there's a math one in there as well. And then these are more stuff that the kids can just grab, but it's more like um, coloring and pasting and cutting and stuff rather than uh, workbooks. So that is that cubby. And then moving over here, this is River's toy bin. We like to keep this up here so that he has toys to grab and play with while we're upstairs and can keep himself entertained. Sometimes this does more entertaining than others, but sometimes it works great. <laughs> and then I've got a surplus of Ola Amigo subscription boxes that we haven't used. And so I'm actually going to be, I pause the subscription and then we're going to go through the ones we have. So I need to plan out like which ones we're doing in which month and kind of get all of those in line and labeled and ready to go but that'll be another time and then over here we have scissors which there are supposed to be scissors in here like bigger regular ones but I think they're downstairs I think the girls brought them downstairs scissors rulers dry erase markers for this board and an eraser and then the girls made these um lego things I put up there but this is their ticket drawer so I mentioned the homeschool classroom or homeschool store, excuse me. Um, and this is where they put their tickets. Quinn's is here, Bailey's is here, and they can earn that. This is the Egypt puzzle that we have finished, but I wanted to reference it back and I just haven't put it back away. We've got some Shakespeare, which we're gonna be reading this year. The headphones for our touchscreen computer. I bought this for like 30 bucks from a computer repair store and it was so great. And they use it, mainly Quinn uses it for her online reading eggs and math seeds. So that's really nice. Then we have our human body, squishy body that I got for like $9 on Amazon. Timelines of everything. I love this book. It helps us with our history and kind of following along. And then the Bear Girls series. We've read this, but I do want to keep them and read them again when River's a little older because I think he's really going to enjoy them for sure. And then I changed the calendar to August because we're not going to be doing any school in July. So I figured there's no point in putting July. I'm We don't have an exact restart date yet, but I'm thinking it's going to be the last week or two of August. We get home from camping um, mid-August. And so I don't want to like start before that and then leave for a week and then come back, if that makes sense. So we're trying to figure that out still. And then we have do the right thing even when no one is looking. And this is, I kind of hang up some of their artwork here. And I had some up, but I put that away in storage. We have months of the year and colors. This is obviously mainly for River. <laughs> um, but once he's past that, I'll like start removing all of this stuff and making it more age appropriate. And then I showed you the current cart already. That's right here. And then I have their Latchmate bins right here which once we get into school like I put the current cart stuff that they have for the next day I put it in their latchmate bin so they can just grab their bin and go to the table and they know exactly what they need to work on so they are there for that and then turning around over here 
we have this is another thing I didn't get done um, taking the science ball down I want to like um, erase the human body stuff and get it ready for our next unit instead but I will also do that and I'm probably gonna do like a homeschool prep video so if you want to see that make sure you're subscribed so that you know when I post that but um, garbage can that's our recycling bin actually and then down here I have my sewing machine this is uh, the container of like coloring books math manipulatives and cash register more math manipulatives that don't fit in there um, and then my silhouette machine is down there as well up here this is probably the messiest looking part but it's like my to-do stuff like I need to handle this stuff and then my highlighters here um, and then this on my channel name so that's obviously perfect I need to sharpen pencils this is our um, bucket list items we have things written on those sticks and we pull one out and try to do a bucket list item and then one of my friends that moved away got me this llama because we always call ourselves the dance mama llamas <laughs> um, so she got me that for my birthday one year um, I normally have tape here but it's downstairs but stapler pencil sharpener big index cards colorful index cards calculator label maker my microphone for voiceovers and then there's the up close of my teacher toolbox and I still can't find this drawer and I don't remember what is supposed to be in there I need to refill the index cards drawer and I need to tape these labels on there because they like fall down if they're not full but it's there and then here's our little caddy um, I need to get more school supplies like I always like to get new ones even though we have like a lot of older ones that I got I did get these colored pencils we have these crayons already and we have these colors of the world markers already but I want to get like new colored pencils and stuff and regular markers to kind of put in here so we have a caddy that we just have everything we need in so that's gonna happen too here's the art wall that I mentioned earlier that we're gonna leave for now and then our history timeline which we need to fill in a lot of that actually like we need to put some stickers on there because we've done some of that already and so that is and I showed you in the closet already but that is our homeschool classroom um, if you have any questions about anything in here just let me know in the comments and I am very responsive to that oh I also need to put batteries in that clock because it is not uh, working. It's not the right time. I think it's completely stopped actually. So I hope you enjoyed this tour. If you did, please let me know in the comments below. My whole mission is to inspire you to tackle something that has been weighing on you because it feels so much better when you get something done. Even if it's something small, it's just one less thing that you have to think about. This was a pretty big project and it feels so good to have it done. But let me know below if this motivated you to get something done that you need to do, whether it's homeschool related or not. For now, remember to stay humble, be kind, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.